Hey! God damn it. Fuck it! Well, hey, well, and welcome back <laughs> to the Kingdom Hearts playthrough! Maybe that's just gonna be how I start my parts. I don't fucking know. I keep doing it, even if I try not to do it, so I guess I should just keep doing it. Uh, uh I mean, uh, uh, so that's why you were saying god damn it? <laughs> yes! This has been going on for the past few sessions where I realized I started all my parts with Hey, welcome back! And I was like, wow, that's stupid. I should not do that. And then I kept accidentally doing it while I was trying to do something else. So... Yeah! Well... Maybe I need to just come up with a better greeting. I mean, hey is pretty is pretty universal. Uh, I feel like a lot of people can uh, understand it and uh, really just I uh, identify with uh, that. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, man. I think it's stupid. I think it's dumb. <laughs> I throw it on the ground. <laughs> you can't. Oh, you can throw hay on the ground. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I'm flying. Oh, well, I guess the next world should be uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas world. Oh, I, I'm assuming you like that one. It's all right. Um, I mean, all right. For context, I was raised. On Nightmare Before Christmas. And you might be like, what do you mean you were raised on Nightmare Before Christmas? I mean my birth mother has a fucking obsession with Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> now we didn't mind it as kids, because, I mean, I appreciate animation, and I like Halloween, and I'm fucking edgy, so whatever. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, th I thought you just liked it because you liked it. Like, it kind of seems up your alley. <laughs> I don't dislike it, but it reminds me of my birth mother. Ah, uh, so, right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as children, my brother and I sang the entire soundtrack when we were driving to Kokomo to see my grandpa because the radio was out. I didn't like <laughs> to bring that up. Um, I like Corpse Bride better, though. Cor corpse? The animation is smoother. Um, I really like the Remains of the Day song, but... Is that made by, like, the same studio? I mean, yes, as far as I know. They're both Tim Burton and they're both Claymation, so I would assume it's the same right. studio. I yeah, think cause they I, are. Because I've never actually... I, I know even less about Corpse Bride than I do about, um... Man, we saw it in theaters. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Oh, gee. And then okay. back in, it was like 2005, 6, and my friend and I were singing one of the, he ended up going into theater, I think, um, singing a couple of the songs in the hallway at my K-8 through school. <laughs> mm-hmm. And nobody stopped him? <laughs> I mean, nobody really... I was fucking weird. He was fucking weird. We were already weird. What were they gonna do? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you to stop singing. <laughs> That's... I don't know. I think it was the end of the day. Nobody was paying attention. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> it was either the end of the beginning. Either way. Yeah. That, that reminds me... Um... That reminds me of... I think Mr. Wyora, the dean at Bennett, chased several students because of a pencil or something? Were you there? Were you part of that? <laughs> no, but he used to just follow us around. I know he followed me around one time, like, to make sure I shaved. And, like, I was, I was, I shaved, but I was, like, bad at it, so I wouldn't get, like, all the whiskers. And he, he tracked me, man! Yeah, like he, did a that, bear. he did that with the other, the white guy in our group, too. Okay. Um, but he would follow me and Maureen around because he was convinced that one, I mean, we're edgy. And by edgy, I mean, we stayed up all night doing no, we didn't stay up all night. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we oh, looked I mean. edgy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did stay up all night, if I did stay oh, up man. all night, it would probably have been playing a video game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were rated T for teen. Maybe even rated <laughs> M at that point. I was already playing Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I guess Resident Evil is rated M, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is, sir. <laughs> um. It's. Are... He. When one of our acquaintances, it shall not be named, put a threat, so we call it a bomb threat, but it was really a shooting threat, on the bathroom wall, uh, our other friend, Maureen, was suspect number one. For no real reason. Uh -huh. Even though we kept coming forward being like, yo, no, it was definitely this other girl. Like, definitely. <laughs> because this, this, and this. And they're like, oh, well, that's all circumstantial. You fucking kid. Well, your, your, your suspicion of me is also circumstantial. <laughs> yes. So funny that. <laughs> senior year, since he was always following us trying to find something to nail us on. Senior year, I got a gym, my gym bag on me. Uh, the last week of school, we were allowed to either be out of uniform or in dress clothes because we were seniors. So I wore, and Brian probably remembers this, I wore a Vampire Knight costume. Because I was a fucking weeb, and also it was a school uniform. And I was prepared to argue with them that the wording of the rule did not say it had to be our school's uniform. <laughs> it just said, in uniform or in dress clothes. So, I was fighting the power <laughs> in the what? dumbest way possible. <laughs> so, did I was you, uh... prepared. And Mr. Wyora, he pops up behind me, his head like right fucking here. And he's like, why do you have a backpack? <laughs> And I'm like, Is it it's my gym clothes. And he was just like, oh. And slinked away. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so, so he didn't... <laughs> I'm like, so he didn't even say anything about the thing I'm actually breaking the rules. He's... For more context, this was after the school shooting threat and they banned backpacks in the hallway. Right. But this was a gym bag. <laughs> You know what you can fit in a gym bag? I mean, a small pistol, if you really want to. But mostly uh, clothes! <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> he, he didn't even... I'm, I'm surprised at that, actually. <laughs> really? You were probably there. <laughs> no, I mean, like, still, like... He, he, he's nailed people on less, like, that's, that's weird. <laughs> Jim was my next class. What, am I gonna go back to my locker and then go to the cl the, the fucking gym when the no, lunch room I mean, is closer to the gym? <laughs> like, I'm- It's weird that he- he, he asked about your- your backpack, but not your uniform. That's what I'm saying. I know, it's like, he targeted me on that one thing and then said nothing else and just disappeared and we just sat there kind of baffled about it. Yes, that's, that's like, fucking weird, man. <laughs> like, excuse me, what? <laughs> You're not gonna talk about me running around in a fucking weeb outfit? <laughs> Granted, the um, there was also a tradition about destroying the uniform because right. edgy kids. Me and one other kid started doing it on the first day of the last week of uniforms. And then they had an announcement saying, Yo! Stop destroying your uniform! You still gotta wear it for a week! And I was like, well, too fucking late, bro. So I guess my ripped up sleeves, uh, rolled up. So you couldn't tell. While I was slowly tearing my shirt apart throughout the week. <laughs> One inch at a time. I was tearing it apart at the cuffs on the seams. And then cutting through the sleeves. And then also the C for the buttons for some reason. Okay, doctor. Let's um, the ingredients for So by the last day, I had cuffs and uh, fucking strings of sleeves because I, you know, just cut slits all the way up the sleeves so they were just dangling around and I was saying I was attacked by a cougar with scissors. <laughs> because the cougar is doing precision work. 
Yes. Right? It's, it's, it's important. <laughs> I think I actually did say that to a teacher that I had popped it on. <laughs> <laughs> and what what did they say? <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was Mr. White, so I had already been with him to London. Mm -hmm. So he, he he liked you, or? <laughs> well, most teachers liked me. It, they either liked me or they paid no attention to me, with the exception mm -hmm. of the Latin teacher, which I didn't like her either. So it was mutual. All right. Did you take Latin all, all the years? <laughs> no, after the minimum two years, I stopped because she was the only teacher. Well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. What do you remember? <laughs> Bits and pieces, to be honest. I remember that murder is kaitis and that it's feminine. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I remember that death is also feminine. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> yes, I remember the ones that were important to me. Rain looks like Imber or Ignis, which is weird. Okay. I remember conjugation is fucking nonsense. Sum es sunt sumus es no sum es est sumus est sunt is I am you are they are or no he she it is. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, first is singular, second is plural. I am, you are, he, she, it is. We are, you plural are, they are. So that's, uh, that's the break, the standard verb breakdown, except basically no verbs follow that, because most verbs end in O, but only sometimes. <laughs> Most and then O, oh, but only sometimes. Yes, because Latin so, is insane. A lot of people so say German not... is really hard to learn because of conjugation. Latin, you conjugate literally everything. <laughs> like, I thought just doing it with verbs in in in, in Spanish was interesting. Like, now you gotta conjugate subjunctive. nouns too. Why, though? Well, because one ending means it's a subject, and another means it's a direct object. Can't... And then there's singular and plural. And singular subject, it's, or, or plural direct objects. But also there's the prepositional words, too. Can't you just... <laughs> Can't you just infer that with context? Like, what? <laughs> context didn't exist in Latin, obviously. But... I also may not be remembering correctly, but I am 900% certain that you had to conjugate nouns as direct objects for sure. That was definitely a thing we had to do. And singular and plural was a conjugation too, because U.S. is noun singular male. But I is noun plural male. A is singular um, feminine. Yeah, singular feminine. Uh, A E, pronounced I, is plural feminine. And then A or U M is neuter singular. And A. Yes, Wait, neuter. back up. What, what the fuck does neuter mean? <laughs> it's neither male nor female. Oh. Okay, why is it called neuter then? <laughs> because Latin. Because Latin, okay. I don't All even right. remember what nouns were neuter, except the bacteria and bacterium follows the neuter thing, because U-M is singular neuter, and plural neuter can change, I believe. I think sometimes it's A and sometimes it isn't. Because why have rules when you can have words not follow the rules? Oh, uh, I also remember that it's tradition that your first male and female daughter or child are named after the father with the proper gender ending. So if you're Cornelius, your child, your first child is Cornelius and Cornelia. Your second child is named after the wife. So if your wife is Aurelia. Your second child is Aurelius and Aurelia. Any child after that gets numbered. 
<laughs> oh, that's rough! <laughs> so Octavius? He was the eighth child. <laughs> oh, that's really rough. How did all of them live? How did all of them survive that long? No, they didn't necessarily. That's why you just got numbered after the first couple. So it didn't even matter if they were still alive. Nope. They kept they kept the number. Holy shit, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> and don't even get me started on the Greek tutors that were totally not slaves. Tutors? That were totally not slaves, yes. What 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 was tutors? What, what does that mean? <laughs> well, if you were really affluent Latin or Roman family, you would have a tutor. You know, like a tutor. Like modern. Oh, okay. A private tutor who was totally, definitely not a slave. Okay. Except that they were. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um. Well, at least they weren't doing hard labor, question mark? <laughs> Debatable. Debatable. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to the actual game. So the the reason why I'm not super big on the Nightmare Before Christmas level is it's just kind of weird. Um, I first of all, it was a weird choice. Not that I dislike Halloween sore, but it was a weird choice to have this uh, in the in the game. Yes. Like, what they're doing is Dr. Finkelstein is trying to make a synthetic heart with ingredients that don't make any sense, but whatever. And now that they found Sally, she has memory, which is like a forget-me-not or some shit. It's a fucking plant that they're gonna throw that in, too. And clearly, once they put that in with emotion and terror and hope and despair and horror, which again... <laughs> It doesn't really seem like that makes a complete picture, and also that those are mostly, like, say they're, they're mostly the same. <laughs> now, it's gonna do something, but once they make the hard work, it's gonna attract more heartless. <laughs> um... So are they, are they trying to make an evil one, though? <laughs> no, see... Uh, Jack has just decided that he wants Heartless to dance around in his, um, his Halloween show this year. That's it. Yes, basically. That's his entire motivation. Yeah. That bonehead Jack is really so we're gonna that's kill That's why I said him, this right? was a weird, this was a weird choice. The Christmas Town story in the second game makes slightly more sense, I think. Maybe. I don't even remember it that much. But just. This is such a weird choice. I mean, th look, this guy clearly can't be trusted with life. <laughs> We just we we just gotta gotta we gotta get him. Gotta anyway, now I have to find surprise because clearly that's the next ingredient to make a synthetic heart. Surprise. Memory, emotion, terror, horror, hope, and despair, and surprise. Ah. <laughs> uh... I mean, I guess it's a little better than sugar spice and everything nice to make a person, but. I mean, I, I, I guess, but this is still really, really very weird. Yes. So I said it was a strange choice. I, I mean, aesthetically, I like what they did with it, although this world is fairly small. Um, and there's a lot that you can't really interact with, which always bums me out in games. I would rather have a small environment where I can interact with, like, everything than a really big open environment where you can interact with, like, two things. But what if it looks really nice? Like, I appreciate the aesthetics, the but that's, that's what games are doing now. Like, even Kingdom Hearts 3, it's like, wow, look at this town! Oh, you can't go into anything, though. What, Twilight Town, or...? Just in general. And also, I don't think you could ever go inside anything in Twilight Town, to be <laughs> honest. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. 
What the f why? <laughs> I mean, you could go in the sewers. Um, you could go in the mansion, sort of. Yeah, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you could go in the mansion. Um, your hideaway is in an alley. The train station, I don't- you go into, but I think it's mostly in cutscenes and you never actually see the inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a tram you could take that you never see the inside of. It's just kind of a thing they do. Hell, even in, even in this game with Traverse Town, what, there's like three buildings you can go in? Like five total? Well, at least you can go in any of them. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. It seems no, like it should be a requirement. <laughs> I'm also a fan of games where the characters just make stupid comments when you look at things. Mm -hmm. Which happens more in older games and they've kind of strayed away from it now and it, it makes me sad. Because I like the games that reward you for examining everything. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll try everything on everything. <laughs> no, I just mean like, you probably don't like when you examine stuff and they make stupid comments. Or smart ass comments. I love that shit. Even if it's just in text form. I mean, yeah, I could, it can be funny. Like. Just a regular piece of wood. Or, you know, you could get the, um. Wonder where Olaf is. See he here? <laughs> I didn't say I wanted it voice acted. Oh, oh, you want If those were text, text box. boxes at the bottom of the screen, it would not have become my personal hell because I could have ignored them. Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna throw a fit again. Well, you, you should you should direct it at um, the video game industry so that they can fix it. <laughs> Yeah, but see, Square Square isn't the one I'm mad at, though. I think I think it'd be better to target the the companies that do shit, like not pay their workers or put microtransactions in literally everything. I mean, yeah, but I'm. Don't you think? Don't you think that interactive interactivity should be uh should be should be a uh, uh, fucking a priority? Because uh, I think it should be a pri- I don't actually really care that much. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but... Basically, people... I think my big thing is that I'm not a fan of open world if it means that it's just... pretty and you can't actually, you know... Do anything? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can understand that, because, like, then it feels kind of isolating. Like, if, yeah. if, if, I, if a world's going to be open, I want it to feel lived in, you know? Um, or at least give me a reason for why it's empty. Like, Breath of the Wild. Have you played that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, don't judge me. I'm busy I didn't making, judge you yet. <laughs> I'm busy <laughs> making a giant puzzle box, okay? <laughs> Ariel came out like two years ago. What the fuck? You're Brian, supposed to I still be a haven't Zelda finished fan. Final Fantasy 15. You're supposed to be a Zelda fan. <laughs> I'm aware. Clearly of, not. <laughs> speaking of, I don't like the new Link's Awakening. Uh, the the way it looks like yes. uh, all shiny. It looks way too free to play app. I can understand that. I mean, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna get it anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> I was gonna get it only because I have the Game Boy version that's been sitting here, and I still haven't done anything with it. Well, I mean, maybe you should play it first before you have a, uh, you have a, uh, a uh, 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 fucking basis of comparison, Brian. That sounds like something I would like to do, and something I would not be able to do. Just like how I had this goal to set out and play all of the Final Fantasies. You wanna know how many I've played? Like, three. You wanna know how many I've finished? One! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's- that's not- that's not a great 
series to have a goal for if you don't have a lot of time, though. <laughs> I started that when I had time. Well, well, now you now you don't. <laughs> and I bought them. I bought the PS1 copy of 7, the PS1 copy of 8, I think I have a copy of 4 somewhere. I don't know if I have a copy of 6, I think I just have a digital download of 6. Mm -hmm. I don't have 5. I hate 10, but I have 10 and 10 too. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Did you get 10 and 10 too before you knew that you hated them? No, we got 10 when it was new. When I got a PS4, my parents got me 10 and 10 too for Christmas because they were like, oh, Final Fantasy. That's totally fine. She cosplays Final Fantasy. It's like, yeah, way to give me like the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> No, t to be fair, I just really hate Blitzball. <laughs> That's it? I know it's optional after the first battle, but I got stuck on the first one, okay? Sheesh. <laughs> I was like 12. Alright. 